Hey, uh, today I want to ask a question. The question is, would you date you? Meaning, if you could just like come outside your body or whatever, or you was a clone, would you date yourself? Meaning, are you well put together? Do you have your own place? Do you have your credit in line? Are you working? Are you eating healthy? How's your mental state? How's your spiritual state? If you can't say yes or agree to what I'm saying, then maybe you should take a pause and do some self-reflecting and get yourself together. A lot of people are rushing in to date because they fear to be alone and they haven't worked on themselves. They don't they don't even they haven't even stopped to ask themselves why they fear to be alone. And they if you probably ask them, they probably are in denial about uh, uh, having a fear of being alone. But it's best when two people are whole on them on their while they're by themselves make themselves whole before coming together because uh it's like two two negatives don't make a positive in this sense it's just a recipe for disaster it's like two broken people to come together and thinking and expecting the other person to fix the other person if that makes sense so the question is uh would you date you? Are you are you together? Uh, do you have a lot of baggage? You know, that's a question you should ask yourself before putting yourself out there. And if the answer is no, then you need to take a second to figure out why you say no. What's wrong with you? Are you insecure? Why you why are you insecure? All right, uh, find out why, how you can fix being insecure mm, so if you say no I don't look that good okay well you can work out you know uh, make sure your hygiene's together wardrobes together um, read self help books uplift yourself make sure you go for walks take time to meditate I also believe everyone should live on their own at least once in their life so you know uh, what you like what you don't like know how it feels to take care of yourself how to so say you was in a relationship say you was in a relationship and it didn't work out okay so yes you're gonna be heartbroken that's normal it comes with it but at the same time you're not as heartbroken because you you've already experienced knowing how to be by yourself and if you gotta re revert revert back to that, you can do it a little bit easier versus if you've always just lived with somebody, that it's gonna be a, it's, that transition is gonna be a lot harder. But it's good to just be by yourself for a little while. So when you are in a relationship, you still have your own hobbies and identity because a lot of people get in relationships and they lose themselves. So I really encourage people to get themselves together. Make sure you're make sure you're whole. You don't have to jump in relationship. You don't have to jump into a relationship so fast. Be friends first. Get to know a person because within six months, six to eight months, you find out things that you are don't really like about that person. And a lot of people rush in to have sex with a person, and that clogs your judgment. So, patience is a virtue. But uh, I just wanted to come on and share that and maybe get someone to stop and think. Uh, ask yourself, would you date you? If you say no, figure out, write down uh, the reasons why you say no. And be honest with yourself and say, and, and start remember Rome wasn't built in a day so start make a list and 
just bit by bit start going through and figuring out the things that you say no on why you wouldn't date yourself and start working on it you know it's okay to take a break from dating get yourself together first you'll feel better and then the person you do get involved with they will enjoy you more you know make sure they're on the same page as you uh, make sure they're mentally spiritually and physically uh, in line with with you but uh yeah so let me know remember always be cool no matter the circumstances you always want to remain humble there's always there's, life is always going to throw something at you but at the same time you still want to remain humble and grateful for where you are where you are in your life because remember there's always someone else worse off than you are so uh, like share subscribe and let me know one thing you're grateful for and what you uh if you agree with this topic and what sh what do you think until next time <laughs>